Good morning, guys, and we're back here. And welcome to the vlog. This is vlog number 61. And it is... What's today? Wednesday? Wednesday. September 18th, and it is 8.35. Again, another late start. Uh, just didn't want to... Was, had a hard time getting up this morning. Pretty tired. It was cold last night. Mostly because uh, Nicole's trying to freeze me out of house and home. Uh, she got a fan for the bedroom, and it got cold. Uh, so I think that's part of it. I think also, you know, just getting up, getting motivated. I've been awake since 7.30, but I hadn't moved from the couch where I was sitting drinking coffee into here. Anyway, so what are we talking about today? Uh, nothing new went on yesterday, so we're going to just gloss over it. Uh, just another random day. Um, but I figured I'd tell, do another story time. This is actually going to be two parts. Uh, I'm going to talk about some of it today and probably some tomorrow, uh, just because it's, there's a lot of stuff I could talk about. So we are talking, uh, this story dates back, well, this gr collection of stories. We're going to be talking about Shelly, uh, which was the, the ghost, uh, of the auditorium back when I was in high school. Uh, I graduated in 2014, my senior year, so this is between 2010 and 2014. Um, so I was a band kid, and the band building for FHS uh, was a two-story like square building where the bottom bottom floor was uh, the choir room, the band room, storage, uh, Huckabee's office, and then there was the bathrooms and two stairwells, a smaller one on one side. Uh, that we called the shoe room. It's where we put all our marching shoes in, in tubs. Uh, they smelled terrible. And that led upstairs. And then there was the stairwell with the bathroom and one of the ways out was. So band building. And then upstairs there was a big auditorium. Uh, like fold down seats. A uh, stage. And a couple backstage rooms. And then a projector room and a sound booth. Well, sound booth. switch More like a switching booth. Anyway. Um, as part of being a band, we used that room for any big gatherings where we needed to get the whole band together. We put on shows up there. Drama did shows up there. Uh, during band camp, we spent a lot of time upstairs and downstairs. I was, you know, two weeks and then all uniform was upstairs. So we spent a lot of time in this building. Um, and there was the ghost Shelly, um, it, I, we hear about it a lot, uh, different stories and, um, you know, what, who she was, you know, what happened. And the, the, a lot of it's rumor, but I did in my time there see a lot of weird stuff. Now I can't say, you know, what's true and what's not true. Uh, these are more just like stories I've heard and things I seen or, you know, heard from other people. But I will say as a senior, we did like seniors did like to terrify, like, terrorized different freshmen uh they would go and a lot of people would actually go and during like lunch and stuff they would sit up there in groups and like wait for stuff to happen so i can't say that i have it like stomped around on stage or uh all, all, backstage there was sets of doors that were higher up only accessible by ladder or if you climbed on door frames and got up there uh, i can't say i hadn't like stomped around or like slid stuff across the stage just to freak people out so there is that and that's a lot of some of the stuff you could see. Uh, some of the stuff was if you set up chairs, like in this satin, w listen, they'd like fall down. Uh, lights would turn off and off and on a lot, uh, which was pretty normal. Uh, weird thing to see. What else? Uh, doors would like slam closed a lot. And some of this during the day is, you know, kind of questionable. But as a, when I became a, my junior and senior year, I did drum major and leadership. And as part of that, a lot of the times we would be the ones locking down the building at night. Uh, everyone's out of the building. So some of the stuff later at night are more, are more confusing to the brain. Uh, like we had filing cabinets start rattling and like shaking, which uh, freaks some people out. Uh, when you turn off the lights to leave and they come back on, it's another weird one. Uh, opening like doors opening and closing. Uh, when you're the only one, because a lot of times the director would leave and it would only be, you know, us and like two other people. So those were some weird ones. Um, and I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that I've seen. Uh, 
we we seen a like a, a chair get like like tossed across the stage, but that was during the day. So weird stuff like that. Those are like the ones more on my account, like drumsticks that like flew into the audience. Um, what other weird ones? Those are the, probably the weirdest ones I've seen. Uh, there's a couple other like more crazy stories, but I think I'll save those for tomorrow. So this is part one. Um, also, I was going to talk about I did volunteer work yesterday. Uh, I did it with our company. We went, so you know, I volunteered on company time, which it's a weird, you know, at that point, are you volunteering or are you just going because you know you didn't want to sit in the office? Anyway, we went and helped with porch. Uh, we went and uh, sorted food items and bagged it so they could take them to people who needed them. I wish it was a fun little experience yesterday. And then uh, that was about that was about the most interesting thing I did yesterday. Where I came home, did some sketching, uh, looked at some D and D stuff. You know, the normal this is and that's of my day. Anyway, we're gonna wrap it up here, guys. Uh, so this is part one of Shelly, and part two will come tomorrow, and maybe whatever else I did. Uh, Probably not. I'm going to write down a list of stuff I want to talk about. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.